Snapshots hold memories. Snapshots tell stories. Welcome to Stafford, a beyond the interstate experience. Here you're invited to create your own snapshots to remember your visit to Stafford, Virginia. Located on the fall line of the Rappahannock River, long before Richmond and Washington were on the map, Stafford was the home of prehistoric animals. The largest and smallest dinosaur remains ever found in Virginia were found in Stafford. Native people populated Stafford. The Potawomoc and Manahoac tribes were indigenous tribes to Stafford County. Today, many of the ancestors of these native people still reside in Stafford. Visitors like yourself have made an impact on Stafford's history. Powhatan Indian Princess Pocahontas lived in Stafford for a while and was kidnapped from Indian Point. Captain John Smith sailed up the Potomac from Jamestown to present-day Stafford in 1608. Smith's diaries and maps detail exploration of the Rappahannock River and Aquia Creek where he chronicled the Native American tribes he encountered. The colonial period found the port town of Falmouth a bustling enterprise and an important point of trade in the New World. Others visited the port of Falmouth, but not of their own free will. African slaves were treated as human cargo. During the Civil War, thousands of slaves crossed the river at Falmouth to freedom during the Union occupation of Stafford County. Young men that helped America define her independence were educated and grew to manhood in Stafford County. George Mason, writer of the Virginia Declaration of Rights, which was the basis for our Bill of Rights, lived and was educated in Stafford. George Washington moved with his family to a farm along the Rappahannock in 1738. He lived from age 6 to 19 at his home in Stafford, now called Ferry Farm. It is here where he developed his moral code, leadership, and work ethic that would forever make him known as the father of our country. George Washington's boyhood home is open to the public. A quiet church built in the mid-1700s still is in active use today and is one of the oldest colonial churches in America. The grounds are open and tours can be arranged by appointment. As our country was defining itself and its image, Stafford contributed the stone which created the White House and our new U.S. Capitol. Visitors will soon be able to hike to this quarry, now known as Government Island, and see the pick marks created over 200 years ago. Stafford has one of the most historic homes in America along its riverbanks. Chatham is the only private home in the United States to be visited by Washington, Jefferson, and Lincoln. The home was a plantation in colonial and revolutionary times, a union headquarters and hospital during the Civil War, and a home for distinguished visitors like Henry Ford and Eisenhower in modern times. Chatham is open year-round. More than 135,000 Union troops were encamped in Stafford during the Civil War. The White Oak Museum tells the gripping story of the Union's occupation. Visitors are amazed by the vast number of artifacts left by the thousands who reshaped the Stafford landscape by their sheer presence. Artists have found Stafford an inspiration. Gary Melcher's internationally renowned artist moved to Falmouth in 1916. Melcher's an impressionist painter used many local characters as models for his acclaimed work. Visit his home, studio, and galleries. While you're in Stafford, enjoy the diversity of pleasures. A magical evening of professional musical theater at the Riverside Dinner Theater. Boating from one of our four marinas, sipping fine Virginia wine at one of our vineyards, or enjoying an elegant meal at a local chef-owned restaurant. Thank you for being one of our important visitors. We invite you to make your own memories during your stay in Stafford. Create your own snapshots. We wish you an experience that will last a lifetime.